Ailish, we chatted uh, the other day about, you know, you want to tick off the uh, half marathon job done, another win here at the big half. Firstly, how, how's the feeling? Yeah, obviously I'm really happy with today to take the win. Um, it was a little bit tougher than I'd like. I think, as I said, I think the half is probably my, my max distance at the moment, just with the, the training we've been building up. So, yeah, I found it tough mentally today as well. Just is a really, really big step forward for me to know going around the bends, going up and down hills, going over cobbles, uh, that the body's all okay and, and in one piece. And you're saying it's, it's much about the mental as well as the physical. How did you kind of get through that today as well? Because your first half marathon since Berlin, when you got that national record, that's yep. over a year and a half ago now. How was yep. that mentally? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to come into a race when you know you're not in the shape of your life. I mean, I went into Berlin ready to run a PB, ready to break a record. So I think it's hard when you're standing on a start line and you put yourself out there uh, when you're not quite 100%. But as I said, I don't want to go into like the next four or five months just to get fit to, to then do a race. So I was a little bit apprehensive, a little bit anxious coming in today knowing that you're not full fitness but I gave it everything I had today and, and as you said I think it's a big mental barrier coming back from something that was like a chronic injury that hurt every single day every step every time I walked I was in pain so a lot of that today is like yeah going around a corner and getting to halfway and thinking oh okay like everything's okay the knee's fine I can sort of move on with my life a little bit now and stop worrying about it and stop panicking about it so um yeah really big mental uh, box tick today and you've got this block of course uh, big half great north run by fellas of 10k has today given you more confidence going into those two races now yeah i absolutely needed this today ahead of great north i think if i'd gone into great north having not ran the distance again i'd probably have that nervousness and anxiousness around the how it would feel and also part of it is like getting used to that feeling of pushing because you can push in training but there's nothing quite like hurting in a race and to be honest I found that tough through halfway today so I had the last 10k where I was hurting and I feel like you get used to that feeling so now I know what to expect going into into gate, uh, Gateshead next week yeah. I feel like I'm ready now to maybe push things on a little bit again so I think I'll get a really good boost from today from, from hurting and really pushing over that last uh, couple of kilometres and you mentioned that you know you could have uh, spent four months training in the winds of the next year the marathon obviously being the big goal but you cannot replicate racing what was it like being out in the streets generally today yeah the atmosphere was amazing like honestly people were cheering me from like mile one right the way through to mile 13 so even when you start to switch off or maybe feel sorry for yourself a little bit especially when I was getting really tired on some of the little inclines there was people just lying in the streets and cheering for you every step of the way so Every time someone was cheering, it gave me like a little bit of a mental boost and I could feel myself picking up the speed and, and, and really pushing when, uh, with that support. So yeah, definitely needed that today. It's a really cool experience to be back in the UK and I'm, I'm looking forward to a couple more races now. And going into that final 5k, obviously in the half marathon, in the marathon, you know, they are some of the toughest. I mean, what was that like mentally and physically for you generally anyway? Yeah, I think as I said, it's, I haven't quite done the training for that last 5k to feel good <laughs> it's always going to hurt um, so yeah again there was a bit of a mental thing today to think right the last 5k you're running on really tired legs and this course is tough as well there's a lot of twists a lot of turns a lot of little small inclines that you don't think about until you feel you get tired so it was tough today and I was really chasing down Cali for a lot of that race and I think that really helped too having someone there to sort of shoot at the last 5k and really still keep pushing um, I think it helps. I think it will really help now push me on for these, these next couple of races before we sort of take a little bit of a time off, take a little bit of holiday, reset and then go again for next year.